of the largest housing project Silver Bay has seen in decades broke ground today. Northern News Now's Madison Green did a little digging to find out what these new options mean for the community and renters up the shore. John Anderson lives by the Twin Cities but has owned property in Silver Bay since 2006. That lake is magical out there. I mean, it's, it, it takes your breath away. Anderson is a developer for Boathouse Bay, a new recreational residential housing community stretching from Highway 61 to Lake Superior that broke ground Wednesday. It is the largest development project in Silver Bay since the 1950s. City leaders are excited to see it going up now. Area right here is owned by the developer, and this is what he was originally going to develop. And we asked him if he had the ability and the desire to help support the city's vision and expand his development to include that area of the city. And so we also provided him that property. The entire project cost $25 million. Only $1.5 million is funded by the Iron Range Resources and Rehabilitation, and the rest is from private investment. Boathouse Bay will feature townhomes, single-family homes, vacation bungalows for rent, and other amenities. But the high-end housing has raised concerns among community members. Change is hard. Um, I think there's different diversities that maybe people have of what they want for housing. The majority of the community had supported it. Otherwise, I don't think um, our, our elected officials would have voted for it. The city and Anderson agree economic opportunity does not have to mean environmental issues. And yet protect the land at the same time. I think we're taking a piece of property that people would still be driving by 10 years from now and saying, you know, and ignoring Silver Bay. And I think that this is the start of something really big. In Silver Bay, Madison Green, Northern News Now. Madison, thank you. Now, construction for Boathouse Bay will begin in the summer. The whole project is expected to be completed within five years.